Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the motivator, Mr. Glenn Sutton. Hey y'all, this is your boy Glenn. And listen, I want to make sure that y'all are excited this morning. I know you may be going through some issues of life. Sometimes your car could break down. You have a flat top, but do, do not let that control your, your attitude. Remember, your attitude is everything. I don't care what it is. If you're alive today, you are a blessed person. I'm not just saying that because I'm saying that. I'm saying it because it's true. Don't let things happen on the outside. As long as things happen on the outside, it can affect your attitude. So when things happen, you have a choice. Either get upset or smile. I choose to be smiling. So listen, this is Glenn Summer. I'm like your hot cup of coffee. Whatever you do, go after your dream and make sure don't let things on the outside, not on the outside, control what's on the inside. I love you guys. And whatever you do, follow your dream. Hey, y'all, this is boy Glenn Listen, I'm so, I'm so oh, here with... <laughs> I'm here live with my good friend here. Now listen, can you tell everybody, you know, how the new style look from... How did the new style look? It looks great. Oh, oh my... Like Tracy Morgan. Why do you say that for? I mean, you say it on video. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> you do! Okay, all right. See you later, Glenn. Hey, y'all, this, this your boy Glenn Sutton. Once again, I'm your hot cup of coffee. Listen, I know today's going to be a great day for you. Listen to me. Listen, I want you to hear clearly. I know things might not have been going right this morning. The kids yelling, kids crying. It's mom and daddy. So anyway, just calm down. Calm down. And really, count your blessings. Count that you're alive. Count that you have kids. And count that you got a little money in the bank account. Okay? Maybe, maybe you don't have no money, but, but money's coming. Okay, maybe you have no money, but you have a job. So some sometimes you got to be thankful for the things that you have. Sometimes, by nature, we think of the negative all the time. That's what that's that's why we, we are human beings. So what we have to do is condition ourselves to think positive. How you do that? You have to you have to start reading uh, like motivational books and and um, to build you up. Because I'm gonna tell you something. As you step out your door, negativity surrounds you. So you need the Word of God, and also you need some other books like Les Brown, Jim Brown, Tony Roberts. You need something that's going to build you up. And if you do that, I promise you, your life will be better. Now, remember this here. There's nothing can stop you but who, but you. So, Glenn, yeah, hey, this is Glenn Sutton, your hot, hot cup of coffee. And remember, remember, dreams do come true. Hey, y'all, yeah, listen, remember, I got to do my glass thing. It's called a glass challenge. Are you ready for this here? All right, ready? Here goes. Love you guys. Because God has given me a dream. And he has given you a dream. Now the key is that we find our dream. How do you find a dream? How do you find it? You, usually you find a dream by asking God. And sometimes, yeah. you, you, let me finish. <laughs> sometimes we get in a hurry. And then we find our dream by listening to our parents. And once we do that, then guess what, and, and what God does? He open our hearts. He open our hearts up. And then the dream comes. Now, when the dream comes, you have to be able to share the dream with everybody else. You can't keep it to yourself. You got to keep it and share it with the whole world because God's given you. Because He's given you because there's some issues in the world, some problems in the world that you can only you can solve. That's why He calls you. Ah! Hey y'all, this is your boy Glenn. So listen, I know today might have not been. What can I say? Not that that you probably would have, uh, you probably would have wanted. But look, look here. But at least you're alive. At least you're alive. As you know, there's someone always doing worse than you. So that's not the reason why to be thankful. Be thankful that you're alive. That you have another, another time, another area that you can change some life. life. Remember, everything happened to you is temporary. All I ask you to do is remember, seek within yourself. Seek what God has for you. And if you do that. Your life will change forever. I know, cause my life changed. This is boy Glenn said, "Listen, I want y'all to su support my good friend Miss Taylor on her jewelry. As you can see, I'm wearing some of her jewelry. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable, man. Listen, I want Miss Taylor. Whatever you're doing, listen, your prices are unbelievable. It has really changed my family, my wife. She's uh, <laughs> anyway, she hit, you know, reaching yeah, life. Anyway, y'all, I'm sorry for that. Anyway, but anyway, y'all, y'all put some things from the paparazzi and tell you, Miss Taylor, you got it. And listen, whatever y'all do, follow your dreams. Hey, remember, buy at least something, okay? Glenn Sutton. Glenn Sutton, we both head out right down to Hope Mills. We had a wonderful time in Feather State. 
cookout and after party, which is X. We want everybody to make sure they're safe. And then uh, we came to look for the homecoming. But I had a wonderful time. It gave me an opportunity to be known around people that really know me, who I grew up with, who I went in school with in college. So I had a wonderful time. Turns, thank you for everything. May may God bless you. But this year, you know what my prayers is? Let me say this real close. Let me say this right. One of my prayers is that next year I will be open. I'm taking my glasses off. One of my prayers next year that something that we will be financially, we as Fever State Bronco, that someone, that, and I want, I want God to use me or Felicia or Tim Jones or to y'all, that we'll stand up and say, listen, the ones who came today. I think how much better I'm gonna be when this